My name is Robert Militello. I'm a retired pastor from Brooklyn, New York, now living in Pensacola, Florida. On January the 6th, 1978, I prayed to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I was 32 years of age. Prior to that, I had been raised a Catholic. I had gone to Catholic schools all my life, except for college. But I had been educated by the Jesuits. I went to Brooklyn Preparatory Jesuit School in Brooklyn. Well, there I was given the Jesuit education and point of view. I was steeped in Catholic belief. After graduating college, I wound up teaching Catholic school in Brooklyn at St. Thomas Aquinas, and that was from 1968 to 1973. And what happened to me a few years later, after I left school to work for New York City as an efficiency expert in the mayor's office, I was challenged one day by an individual who claimed to be an evangelist. And he asked me one simple question. He said to me, where are you going when you die? As a Brooklynite, I says, I'm not dead yet, and I haven't been judged. I have no clue as to where I'm going. He says, well, you're lost. You're not born again. I says, what is that? Didn't I get that at confirmation when I was confirmed by the bishop? He says, no. I says, well, I don't understand. I says, I believe in Jesus. That's when he told me, so does the devil. Congratulations. I says, you mean I'm lost? He says, unless you're born again, you're lost. I can read you John's Gospel, chapter 3. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I says, well, gee, I, I, I'm in bad shape. He said to me, do you believe in hell? I says, yes, as a Catholic, I was taught there was such a place, and I believe in it. And I certainly don't want to go there. He says, well, here's the thing. Either you're born again or you're going to wind up in hell. Regardless of how much Catholicism you know, regardless of how loyal you are to your church or your beliefs, regardless of what your parents think or anybody else in your family thinks. And he put it to me this way. Are you interested in knowing the truth? I said, yes. I, I consider myself open-minded. He said, and if you discover that the truth is going to contradict much of what you've been taught or raised with, how will you handle that? I says, don't worry about that. I says, I'm a big man. I can handle the truth. I want the truth. And if the truth contradicts what I was taught, well, then I'll just throw what I was taught out the window where it belongs. I have no problem with that. He says, good. You're going to be okay. I says, just give me the truth. Well, he gave me some stuff to read, and I invited him to my house. And after explaining to me, my wife, my family, my sister, my brother-in-law, and nieces, nephews, aunts, and uncles what the difference was between religion and salvation, it became apparent that we were lost. We didn't know what salvation is. And we were challenged to put our faith in Jesus Christ and in the Word of God and not in a church. I said, I'll do it. Now, this is what bothers people. Do you really want the truth? Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Now, if you're listening to me and you're going to find an excuse not to take the truth and get saved, I'll tell you what your problem is. Jesus laid it out clearly. He said, men will not come to me. Why? Because men love darkness rather than light. So if you will not come and take Jesus Christ as your savior, I'll tell you what your problem is. It isn't an intellectual problem. It isn't a religious problem. It's a heart problem. You love your sins. And like a pig in mud, you don't want to leave it. Now you want to receive Jesus Christ? Just bow your head and admit, I'm a filthy sinner. And ask the Lord Jesus Christ to save you from the hell that you deserve. And you'll be wise. If not, what can I say? You want to take a chance that you're right and the Bible is wrong? You're crazy! But go ahead. If that's what you want, God help you. This is Robert Militello testifying clearly that Jesus saves.